YouTube got another personal pickup right here. This is the Air Max 90 Premium Tape Quick Strike. That is a mouthful. Official colorway is white, cool gray, black, and atomic red. It's really weird because as soon as you see the shoe, you'll you will call the shoe atomic red. And let's get right into the shoe. And here we are. This is the Air Max 90 Infrared, as people will call it the most. It's got some yellowing on the midsole, so it's got that vintage look to it. It's got your Nike Air branding. Who needs Jordans when you got Nike Air branding on some Air Max? You've got this black, feels like a new buck, strapped all the way across the back and the sides, and the lateral and medial. Honestly, this just looks like infrared. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference if, uh, if Nike didn't say so, honestly. On this whole box, uh, this is the main difference between all the MX 90s. This is tape, but I have no idea what that means. Maybe it's this border right here. It's gray. Honestly, this, this is just mesh, and it's, uh, it's a pretty strong mesh. And uh, this gray accents right here, these are Hyperfuse. I've never owned a pair of Air Maxes before, so honestly, I don't know whether I'm going to keep these or not because uh, generally, uh, I just wear basketball shoes. But this is a classic colorway. Uh, I'm still debating whether to keep these or sell these, but I did grab these on sale from uh, nrml.ca. I'll flash you guys a link in the description box as well as in the video. Just another quick look at the bottom. Take another look at the other one. You also got a fuse swoosh right there in gray. Honestly, what do you guys think about the, the whole yellow vintage look? I'm okay with this pair right here, but uh, sometimes they go overboard with the vintage stuff in my opinion. Craftsmanship on my pair is decent, but there are still some flaws. I don't know if this is with all Air Maxes in general because I've never really looked into Air Maxes at all. We got some glue popping out right there. There's a paint job issue right there. You see the blacks going into the sole right there a little bit. I mean, you've got to be really picky with these. Honestly, I think this new buck will scratch really easily as well. I think, uh, I mean, like scuffs in general. But a uh, really clean colorway. I will have to decide whether to be keeping these or not. Well guys, I'll show you guys some on-feed footage and uh, I'll catch you later. Peace.